Hi everybody, I am Jay Leonard J, and this is my personal 1968 Fender Bigsby Telecaster. <music> Well, welcome to Jay's Toolbox, a little place where I like to talk about my personal gear, the stuff I use all the time and why I think it's so awesome. And today, oh man, we're doing something special. Uh, I haven't posted a video in a while, I've been on the road, so I wanted to come back with something really important and this is it, the most uh, beloved and cherished thing in my entire music collection. This is my 1968 Bigsby Fender Telecaster. Oh man, you know, thinking about it, I've had this guitar like 10 years, like uh, back when I was a student in Boston, and it has been all around the world with me. I've, uh, I've played the whole like arena circuit in Asia, Hong Kong and Singapore and Malaysia and all that stuff. I've, I've played at the MGM Grand Caesars Palace all across Canada, across the States, England. Um, it's my number one session guitar. I've played it on countless songs. I think the last thing of note I did with it is I played it on Warren, uh, the last Warren Flandes album, which was nominated for Juno. Uh, for you Americans out there, Juno is a Canadian Grammy. So, uh, yeah, Canada. Uh, so, <laughs> really broken down. This guitar has been with me my entire professional career. And uh, really, it has a really quirky sound and has a really quirky playability. And it, that quirkiness has completely shaped the way I play the guitar. <laughs> Uh, this guitar is practically all original. There's a couple mods, of course. I've had a lot of work done to the neck with refrets and nuts. Uh, it has the new tuners in it uh, because the old tuners went bad. Got electro socket on here uh, just to make it a little bit easier to put the jack in and out. Uh, but the biggest mod here is in the control plate. I changed all the pots to burns, uh, burns pots because they're they're uh, contained, so it doesn't get scratchy. Nice and smooth. <laughs> And I uh, reversed the control plate so the volume is here and the tone is right over here, which is really handy when I'm doing like a swell kind of thing, you know, like a... And then you can do the wah stuff with the tone knob. Another thing I did with this is I actually had this plate redone by a guy named Rudders. And uh, what that, what he did is he actually made this a little further away from the control plate so I could stick my finger in that little crevice a little bit easier. It's not quite as crammed in there. Huge, huge difference. <laughs> the Fez Parka mod, which is kind of like wiring your guitar like a 50s Gibson. And what that does is uh, when I go down in volume, it still keeps the treble in there, but it does it in a much more natural way than like uh, a treble bleed circuit. I think it sounds really good. It does make the tone knob act a little bit more finicky, but the trade-off is completely worth it. All right, so let, let's get into this thing and let's hear what it sounds like. I wanna start off with that neck pickup. Uh, I am completely convinced that this neck pickup is from a different planet. It doesn't sound like any neck pickup I have ever heard. It is round and smooth like a brass neck, you know, uh, telly neck pickup, but it's really loud. It's much louder and it has a lot more clarity and this almost, 
uh, woody kind of sound. Oh, just you could actually feel the wood resonating. That is just absolutely darling wonderful. I've been trying for years to figure out why it sounds like this. I've actually, like no joke, I have actually worked with a bunch of different pickup makers trying to figure out the secret formula to it and I still, I'm still searching. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna enjoy this guitar. Um, it has almost like a humbucker-like compression when you hit the notes. So everything kind of sounds smooth. Or you can kind of do that jazzy thing. Put some gain to it, like a tube scream or anything. Right now, I'm using the Sub Decay Liquid Sunshine, which is a, a killer overdrive pedal. You get that kind of single coil kind of spank, and you, you, it's like you, you get the best of both worlds. You know? There's a really unique kind of twang to this guitar when you go to the bridge position. It twangs very teller. What makes it unique is the fact that uh, it doesn't really have that ice pick in it. It has the twang and it has that kind of flutter. But it definitely doesn't have that and I think that is kind of attributed to the fact of the Bigsby. The Bigsby, I think, uh, because there's not so much downward pressure, it's not so kind of tense and, and tight, it, it just gives it a little bit more rounded softness to it, a little bit more sponginess to it. Uh, and I think it actually sounds really, really nice that way, especially when you put a little bit of gain onto it, you know what I mean? When you add some fuzz to it, man, it gets mean. It's very aggressive. It's not gonna sh like hide away from that distortion. Uh, I'm gonna use a Keeley Dark Side, one of my favorite. <laughs> This guitar has a maple cap neck, which means instead of just being a solid piece of maple, you have a maple fretboard on top of the maple, which you don't really see anymore. And 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 the, the Bigsby here, it, it takes away a little bit of the sustain of the guitar, but it gives it this kind of nice, plinky, percussive attack and release to it that's just addictive. And when you get those two factors and you mix it with the in-between position, man, it is a sound that I just absolutely love. It's just It, it, it 
it's like almost like a bass. It's just uh, my favorite. It's just beautiful. And I don't hear it in any other guitar. Uh, I use that position about 80% of the time. That is my 1968 Bigsby Telecaster. I uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, please keep commenting and please keep subscribing. Uh, click on the little bell if you want to get notifications when I have a video coming out. It's really great to have the views. Um, for my subscribers out there, uh, if you see anything that I'm, you know, a piece of gear that you're really interested in that I've demoed or you see it in the background, something that I use a lot, or if you have a question about any of my gear, let me know. I'd love to answer it in a future episode of Jay's Toolbox. Uh, it's always great to be, interact with you guys and kind of uh, include you in this community because that's really what it's all about. Uh, that being said, I'll see you guys all soon. Take care and goodbye.